linear relationship. Now let's complete this table. Y equals 2x minus 1. So when x is minus 3, so x is minus 3, which is substituting the equation there. Or when x is minus 2, that means every time you see x, you really replace with minus 2. So when x is negative 3, so 2 lots of minus 3, minus 1. So 2 times minus 3 is minus 6, minus 1. Minus 6 minus 1 is minus 7. There you go. When x is negative 2, y equals 2 lots of minus 2, minus 1. So minus 2 min times 2 is minus 4, minus 1. The answer is negative 5. When x is 0, y equal 2, 2 lots of 0 minus 1. 2 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. And same thing apply. I just to save time, I just quickly, same rule, I just quickly give you the answer. So 2 times 1 is 2, minus 1 is 1. And same thing apply. And I do the last one, 3. So which is when x is 3, 2 lots of 3. 2 lots of 3, sorry, and then minus 1. So which is 2 lots of 3. I keep writing negative 3. Sorry, so 2 lots of 3 minus 1. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 1 is 5. There you go. So it's 5. Now, to plot this uh, graph on the number plan, so we can simply use these, um, the table of values. So you can see some of the number is not on my num number plan. So what I do, I just focus on minus 1 and 3 first of all. So negative 1 and um, negative 1 and negative 3. So what I do, I go left 1 from origin, 0, 0, go left 1 and then go down to, um, 3. So that's what I get. And the next one here, 0, negative 1. So I start origin, I don't go, I go across, I just straight down 2. Uh, I'm sorry, go down 1, so which is 0 minus 1. I get that. 1, 1, I go across 1 and up 1. So which give me that point there. And then 2, 3, from origin, I go 2 to the right and then um, up 3. So it's up there, it's up here. So that's what I get, not a point. And then I can ignore 3, 5 because I don't have enough space. But that's all you need, really. So now, I, if I use ruler, connect these points together. There you go, I get a straight line. That's how you um, complete table value of values and then graph on the number plan by using tables of values. And I use um, Desmos to graph this um, straight line. Just type the equation in this um, soft form. Um, the website and it actually is, um, did it for me so it's look exactly the same let's look at this one here w y is equal to two th uh, 3 over 2 x minus 3 so to complete this first one is when x is negative 4 so 3 over 2 lots of minus 4 minus 3 so which is Minus 4 divided by 2 is minus 2. So you left with 3 lots of minus 2, minus 3. 3 times minus 2 is minus 6, and minus 3, the answer is negative 9. There you go. So when x is equal to negative 2, so 3, lots of, 3 over 2, lots of negative 2, minus 3. So I'm not, I'm not going to do it um, manually. I just show you how to use calculator as well. So I just bring the calculator up first. So I just type 3 over 2, 3 over 2, and then uh, bracket, negative 2, just put negative 2, and then uh, minus 3. That's all. You type exactly the same, what you write on the paper, and then it's negative 6. So that's the answer. Okay. And um, let's say when x is 0, so I just go and change it here. I can just go backward and delete and make it into zero. So equal negative three. So that's it. And 
same thing applies so I go back I just change it I can go forward or backward like that and then I change it into one so it just keep on replacing so it's um, when x is one so this is what I get and if I want decimal remember SD so that's the answer I get so negative one five so if x equal um, two then I just go back change it to two very simple so that's that's how you complete the table um, of values so that give me zero so that's zero here so exactly the same process I get it give me three and four point five minus four point five now to sketch this okay let's go to sketch this of course you're not gonna put minus four minus nine and one minus one point five like this one I can just ignore it because first thing minus four minus nine I don't have that um, numbers on my number plan second thing one minus one point five if I put minus one point five not so accurate because my grid is going up by one so it's, it's easier you just ignore because when you connect the point together it's go through one minus five anyway so I can just ignore that so the first point you're looking at is this one here so which is zero minus three so zero negative three which mean origin I didn't I'm not gonna go across anywhere because zero and minus three you go down three unit so you get zero minus three there and then two zero so I, I go across two only from or, or, origin which is zero zero see and then three four so I go across three from zero zero go across three and then I mean sorry go across four because it's four three not three four sorry x away first of course so you go across four and you go up three there you go and then you connect the line all together it give you not a straight line so that's how you plot the point and then um, connect the line together okay this one here to complete this table you got two ways to do it one way is just substitute x value in and you solve for y let me do two way okay I just do first one first let's say y equal um, let's say x equal to negative 2 the first values so which mean I just plot I just substitute the value in so because x equal to negative 2 so that means minus 2 plus 2y minus 4 equals 0 so I just solve equations so minus 2 minus 4 so that means 2y minus 2 minus 4 is minus 6 equal to 0 I move this on that side remember you're solving equations so which is 6 so y equal divided by 2 both sides is 3 there you go so simple just substitute the x value in and solve for it now let me do one more so when x is minus minus 1 so which is replace every time you see x replace with minus 1 so which is x is minus 1 this time plus 2y minus 4 is equal to 0 so minus 1 minus 4 is minus 5 so left with 2y minus 5 which give me 0 so 2y is equal to 5 so y equal I divide by 2 so which is 2.5 so the answer is 2.5 so this is how you do it okay when you substitute a raw x value in and then just solve it from there now another way is this you can make y as a subject so then you just substitute the x value in let's let's go move on to this y see if you like it okay so that's let's say y minus this minus 4 equals 0 and you make y as a subject okay so to make y as a subject you move the x on this side the y on this side so 2y is equal to negative x plus 4 then I divide by 2 so y equal minus x over 2 plus 4 divided by 2 is 2 you can also do this way then you can just substitute any value in so y equal let's say x let's say x is 0 here so that means 0 minus 0 over 2 plus 2 so 0 divided by 2 is 0 so 0 plus 2 is 2 there you go 
and then you can just you calculate and sort that out. But if you don't know how to um, change Y as a subject, please watch my other videos and it show you how to do it as well. Now, when y, when x is 1, so when x is equal to 1, okay, y is cool, I just substitute in minus 1 over 2 plus 2, which is 1.5. There you go. Okay, so I just, I just going to keep on substitute the value in, that's all. But also, of course, you can use calculator. Let me show you. So now, let me clear this first. So negative x, so I just put minus, okay, with the fractions. So this time, x is 2, so I just put 2 over 2, and then add 1. I mean, add 2. There you go. So it just replaces with 2 every time you see um, um, x. So for that one, so equal to 1. There you go. So it's 1, and then um, and just keep going, and you just go back and change it. So 2, this time, is become 3, so I delete, I change to 3. Then and a half. Let's see, yes, 0 0.5. And then next one, which is 4, so I just go back, I change it to 4. And um, I just clear, clear this first, so I make it into 4. So the answer, because when you write, of course, every time CX replay with 4 this time, there you go, becomes 0. Now to graph this graph, so we just focus on some of the point, not all the point, of course, because 2.5 and 1.5 is actually is quite hard. And then there's my scale is go up by 1 as again, because when you put 1.5, not so accurate. So I ignore that. And when you draw a straight line, it pass through anyway. So I just focus on minus 2, 3. So origin is this 0, 0 here. So I go left 2 and up 3. So which is give me this point. And then 0, 2. So I don't origin. All I need to do is just x doesn't go anywhere. So that is, it's like origin. But it go up 2. So you get 0, 2. And similarly, 2, 1. You go across 2 and then up 1. And then 4, 0, you go all the way 4 to the right, and that's all. Okay, so you just draw a line, connect these points together, and give you a straight line. Thank you so much for watching my videos.